Good evening, everyone. Jamie Schwartzwald in with sports. It's Thursday, so that means puck talk, and we are hanging with the dogs today, specifically third-year defenseman Sean O'Rourke. Rourke, what's going on, man? Not much. Glad to be here. All right. Well, thanks for coming down. Um, well, let's just jump right into it. You wrapped up a playoff berth last Friday. You're only team in the West to do that. But uh, it seems to me there's plenty of work left to do here in this regular season, huh? I mean, yeah, definitely. Uh, we've wanted to be in playoffs. Like, I mean, that's been a goal, but we always, we want to have home ice in playoffs, so that's what we're trying to do. And, you know, we're not going to stop until we clinch the West Division. So how much value do you, you obviously want to play that first round at home. How much value do you put at home ice in the playoffs? Oh, that's huge. I mean, having our fans cheering us on and being at home, sleeping in our own beds, it, it all comes into factors, and they're, it's huge during playoffs because every game is, you know, the season's on the line. Of course, you started a nine-game homestand to close out the regular season last weekend against Keno River. I was talking to their coach, Oliver David, and he was, he was really impressed. He said basically where you guys hurt them was you're able to retrieve pucks, you're fast back into the D zone on dumps. I, is that something that you guys practice and focus on as a decoy unit? I mean, definitely. We want to get into, like, get pucks quickly and, you know, get, like, quick transition games so we can be on offense. You know, we don't want to be playing defense. We want to be playing offense. That's what's fun, you know. So we don't want to get stuck in our D zone. So the quicker we can break out, the quicker we can be on offense. And as you know, speaking of offense, you're quite the offensive uh, defenseman. You like uh, marking the score sheet there? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm a smaller guy, so I feel like, you know, in order to move on, i got to put points up. And that's what I try to do, you know. Having 11 on the power play and those guys helps me definitely get some points. <laughs> yeah. I'm um, talking about Coach Stewart. You know, if you ask me, I you know I'll go around and say it. I think he should be a Coach of the Year candidate. Um, he runs a man on man D zone kind of. And how long do you think it took guys to to buy into that system? Um, you know, it's taken a little bit. I think guys have got it now. You know, we're still some like things we're still working on, but you know, it's definitely different. It took me a little bit of time to adjust to it as well. But you know, I think our D zone is very very strong right now, and guys are figuring out, and it's clicking pretty well for us right now. Um, what does it mean to a player when when the head coach is out there? participating in drills, sometimes leading the drills like Stewie is. What does that mean to you as a player? Uh, it's fun. I, I mean, it's kind of nice to see that, you know, that he played and, you know, we know that he played at a high level and that he can play with us. It's just kind of, it's just kind of fun, you know. This makes practices a little more fun and a little bit more intense as well. Yeah. I know Fresno battled with Kenai River down at Soldatna this week. They're your opponent coming in this weekend. Um, they may be a little tired. Can you take them lightly? No, definitely not. They're tied with Kenai right now for a playoff spot, so their backs are against the wall, so... They're going to be throwing everything at us, so we got to make sure that you know we're well rested and ready to go, and we need to get all four points this weekend because you know as long as we keep winning, no teams can catch us. So that's our goal. Um, you kind of join an I don't know if it's an elite crowd, but it's definitely uh, not not many of them out there as, as a player who's going to be playing in his third outdoor game this <laughs> weekend. Uh, talk to me about the outdoor game. It's fun, you know. It's it's different to see. It's just different, you know. But it's fun, like. A lot of people there, and you know, I mean, go, go, like growing up in California, I don't get to play outside, so it's definitely different for me. But I mean, I, I enjoy it a lot. You know, hopefully this year we'll get the win and you know, be a little bit more fun th than losing. So <laughs> that's where our goal is. You, 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 what kind of face mask material? What, what, what kind of uh, keeping warm attire do you wear? I noticed the guys are always dressed up. Yeah, I, I don't know. I was wearing like a little black pullover thing just to keep my ears warm because I'm, I'm kind of a baby when it gets in the cold, so. You know, I'll probably wear that again, but I'm not 100% sure. It just kind of depends on how how cold it is, you know. And now they're playing in the day, like in the daylight, so it might be a little bit different. So we'll see. Yeah, and, and just a reminder, that game this year starts at 4 o'clock, so it's going to be light, hopefully a little warm, and hopefully, like you say, a different outcome from last year. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that is going to wrap it up for us. We are getting out of here, but you need to stay tuned because Ashley Briggs has your extended seven-day weather forecast coming up next. So for Sean O'Rourke, I'm Jamie Schwartzwald, and you're watching News 13.